You must construct additional pylons. Now, StarCraft 2 is a big franchise. We've already had two expansions. Everyone's always enjoyed it, and it's always been a very balanced game, I guess. Yes. It's had very competitive style. And now that we've got a new expansion, Legacy of the Void, the Protoss expansion, Protoss has been nerfed. Ah, uh, it's not been nerfed that much. It just, you can't use the Wings of Liberty 4-gate build anymore. Shane's very sad about that. But with a new expansion does come a new campaign, lots of new units. Uh, I personally love the Blizzard StarCraft 2 campaigns because it's always a very cinematic experience. Uh, all the missions are very varied in what you can do. Uh, I've seen a lot more hero missions mm. this time around. I guess they're trying to get people into the MOBA hero yeah. experience having specials at a QWER and yep. that sort of thing. Yep. But uh, a lot of the missions were a lot of fun and especially the way you can customize all of the units it's a little bit more in depth in this expansion, and it certainly gives a lot of uh, different play styles going through the uh, campaign. While I enjoyed the gameplay myself, I actually didn't enjoy the story. Like, it, yeah. it was very well wrapped up. Everything was pretty much done very well. It's just like, I'm going back thinking about everything, how this connects to StarCraft 1, and how much StarCraft 1 was actually much darker story. Yeah. Like, Spoilers, Raina, I'm pretty sure, commits suicide. It, uh, he, he's like, he walks into a door of light. Uh, you, you, are you just going to show him shooting him in the head like freaking Zook, was it Zukov? I can't remember, the Brood War one. But it's just like, it's a dark game, it's supposed to be, but you just don't want to show it anymore because it's, you know, everyone saved the world, oh goody. But that's sort of the Blizzard experience now. Like, a lot of their games have moved away from that. Yeah, Dark that's historians, true. Especially Warcraft. It's true. Uh, it's moved on to a much lighter style. It's uh, true. Even Diablo to a certain extent. Yeah. But uh, to me, I, I did enjoy the storyline. It wrapped it up nicely. And uh, one of the other things that they've added in the game is co-op. And mm. adding the co-op missions as well as all the different uh, leaders that you can use in those missions... Uh, brings a lot of different play styles and a lot of fun that you can have outside of just laddering yeah. or playing the campaign. There's a lot more you can do in the game with arcade as well, all the mods, all the like little game modes. Yeah. It's all fantastic. You can get so much game time out of the new Legacy of the Avoid and it's standalone, so you don't need the previous expansions. The co-op actually really reminds me of Command and Conquer General's Zero Hour, the, how they had yeah. the gen generals there. Yeah. That's something that many people really loved and I think a lot of people will love it in this game. Uh, I think uh, if you're probably new to StarCraft, it's actually a good place to get on to. Mm. Uh, you'll be a bit out of order in the campaign, but it's certainly a good jumping on point. Yep. People coming back from older games will certainly love it as well. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of new improvements, and I think it's a great product all up. 